Now that I have a rendering system, I'll be able to start making programs with animated graphics. Controlling animation speeds requires knowing and controlling how frequently new frames are going to be drawn. So I want to take a look at querying monitors refresh rates and setting up explicit frame rate controls in my main loop. Let's get into it. First, I'm going to upgrade my OS Layer's time API to get more precise timing information. This is kind of a minor change, but it's something I've come to understand can lead to a bit more precise times when you start doing things like profiling. So while I'm taking a look at it here, I decide to go ahead and make the change. The way this change works is instead of having the API itself do a conversion of the native timestamps to microseconds, I'm going to export some information that the user can use to do the conversion. This can be useful so that when they, for instance, take a begin time and end time, they can then use that range and convert the range and instead of converting the end points first, which can make rounding errors larger. Right here, as I struggle to get the numbers to be right justified, I finally discover a bug that has gone unnoticed for a while. Once I figure out that the text rendering isn't handling spaces correctly, I finally go and get that fixed. All right, spaces are coming out correctly now. It's time to get back to thinking about the frame controls. The two numbers I'm looking at here are supposed to be the number of microseconds that the previous frame took to complete on top and the maximum number of microseconds for a frame on bottom. There's something wrong with the arithmetic though because I should only have 16,000 microseconds per frame, not 166,000. This looks better to me. Next, I want to figure out how to get the refresh rate for a given window. As I'm putting all this together, some ideas come up that are just too much for me to handle right away. So I throw them into this big to-do for a future research pass. In particular, I'm wondering what happens when a system has multiple monitors with different refresh rates. How would I write a program that supports having a window on each monitor? If they share the same UI loop, then they can't update at their own rates. And what about when a window straddles the boundary between two monitors? How does the system even make that work? I'm not sure. So all those things are worth looking into in depth, but right now I need to put them on hold. I think I've got everything I need to get the refresh rate for a given window, so here I'm trying to test it out. It turns out to be a bit difficult to get the system to actually change a monitor's refresh rate while things are running, so it takes me a couple of tries of shutting down and restarting and changing the settings and running the program again. 
here I can finally see that I'm getting the window at, with a reported refresh rate of 50 frames per second. Now I want to add a block to my loop that rests away any extra time after finishing the rendering and before moving on to computing the next frame. When I'm running at the maximum speed of the refresh rate with the graphics API, that API will usually force the weight automatically. But if I'm running at a lower frame rate, or if I happen to be using a renderer that doesn't have that automatic weight built in, it's pretty important to have this extra sleep put in the loop so that my system doesn't skip frames or do more compute than is necessary. To test it, I'm going to go ahead and put a lower frame rate in right now since my graphics API won't let me see if this is working at the full frame rate. Another quick detail, on Windows I need to add a call to time begin period with a, a parameter of 1 when I set up the graphics application so that the sleep function can actually sleep 1 millisecond at a time. One of the points of doing all this frame rate control stuff right now is that I want a system that can detect missed frames so that I can be aware of them right away when I'm developing tools or other things later. Unfortunately, the fact that graphics APIs insert the weight themselves means I don't have a lot of control over that and sometimes the frame deadline will be a little bit variable. It'll be a little later, a little bit early and there's not much I can do about that. So I need to develop a slightly smarter structure here with a better test that is not going to generate too many false positives so that I don't think I have missed frames when I don't really have them. Here what I'm trying to do is set up a diagram that shows the timing of frames when they should complete compared to when they do complete. And I'm trying to mark any frame that appears to be a miss so that I can figure out how good my uh, detection is for missed frames. But I'm getting some really weird effects in this diagram that I'm trying to draw where lines will just disappear and I'm not sure if they're showing up in the same spot twice or if they're failing to render for some reason. It's making this a little difficult to figure out. I do want to keep making progress on understanding the timing of my frames, but these disappearing lines make me think that there's some kind of anti-aliasing bug at this point. So as if that's happening, I need to stop and go look at the quality of my rectangle rendering for one pixel width rectangles and see if I have a problem there and get that fixed first. Before I go, here's a quick list of all those Win32 APIs that I've relied on in this video.